Hey, Ruth here. Sorry if it is way, way late, but yeah. I decided to do uh, upload this one today, even though I did it today. Um, and it's right now, anyway, while I'm doing this voiceover thing, it's 9.55 p.m. So, it's still in the nines, I guess. <laughs> Not really. Um, as you see, lovely, uh, day out with my sister. And we went to different places this time. Well, the works is the same. But, um, the, uh, Hawkins Bazaar is different. I never actually stepped in there before. And it's awesome stuff. And I found my awesome, awesome... Monopoly Sailor Moon version, though it, Sailor Moon S, technically, because, yeah, um, anyway, it'd be cool if they made a normal one, like this first series, then the third series, wait, no, sorry, that's the third series, um, the Super S, which is fourth series, yes, and like stars, it'd be cool if they made all all the different series. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> anyway, I've been like eyeing that forever. Well, not forever, but ever since I knew that they made a Sailor Moon version, but I only saw it on like the box lunch or some US site, and the shipping would have been murder, so I decided to wait. And lo and behold, I found it here. Um. These pictures are just going to be going because I'm not talking your ear off totally. Um, went to Mount Fuji again, but I got ramen this time. Though I got the uh, mixed tempura and the takoyaki to take home. I stopped by Primark to see if they've changed the uh, uh, Harry Potter stuff, and they had. And they also, for some reason, moved it from the first style, like section when you come out of the lift to the one behind it. I have no idea why, but who knows. So like we got some new stuff and yes, and I bought some stuff. I got way, way a lot this time. <laughs> um <clears throat> like as you see like for the receipts that you've come across throughout the entire movie video thing. It's 80 something I spent this time instead of just the decently measly 30 some or so last time. So, yes, I'm so glad I'm not paying for lunch. <laughs> My sister pays for the lunch, but uh, yes, I have to pay her back for how much I spent on this excursion. Anyway, that's it, so on to the video part. This is my haul from today's outing with my sister. So first up, we went to this store called... I'm going to see that. I wish we saw this before. Pressing the cord button. Anyway, it's called Hawkins Bazaar. And this was the awesome... Uh, well, the back of the box, but the awesome Sailor Moon Monopoly version. I actually can't believe I found it. But, uh, all these lovely, uh, thingies. So that's the, uh, Heart Moon Rod, Sailor Pluto's Garnet Orb, so Uranus's space sword, Neptune's uh, mirror, I forgot what it was called, um, the heart compact, the crisis um, transformation, and the moon chalice. Oops. So like, awesome. It says, Usagi's friend Rei has been plagued by disturbing visions of the apocalypse. Just as a new enemy appears in the city, 
the maniacal Professor Tome, the leader of the Deathbusters, has been targeting innocent citizens in a search for three special pure heart crystals. Usagi is prepared to confront this dangerous new foe together with powerful new Sailor Guardians who are already seeking the crystals. In this special Sailor Moon edition of Monopoly, you'll tour all characters of the beloved anime Sailor Moon S, own the four talismans slash weapons, and receive strong eternal items, love and friendship cards might reward you for, fi fighting for fights against the villains, or bring an unexpected surprise. Buy, sell, and trade with other fans to get powerful Sailor Guardian to get a powerful Sailor Guardian and win the game. So like Yep. Yeah. Um game board, six collectible tokens, twenty eight title deed cards, sixteen love cards, sixteen friendship cards, two dice, thirty two houses, twelve hotels, one pack of monopoly money, and instructions. So this monopoly money has the limit on it. Anyway. Awesome! Awesome, awesome! Well, I've only actually ever seen this on... Um, what is it? Box Lunch or something website? Uh, the US website. And obviously, I don't know in the US. And the shipping would have been, I don't know, like... 30 to 50 dollars and all that stuff. So luckily I waited to get it and I found it. And no shipping required since I bought it in store by myself. So, uh, moving on. Uh, next, we went to Kex. I guess that's, 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 that's uh, this place. Um, so in this place, I bought um, these, which is Ralph Breaks the Internet, because I have not seen or bought that yet. Hope Springs, Golden Compass, which were both 50p each, so I thought, why not? And the Emoji Movie, because technically I didn't really hear good things about it, but since it's only for £3.50. Why not? And the, the trailer did look funny though, so I wanted to get it anyway. So next, we went to the works. So I got two lots of <laughs> just boring stuff, so blank envelopes. Purely everyday white envelopes is what it says. <laughs> um, yeah, they're just a uh, pack of 50 uh, size C6, which is 114 by 162 millimeters. Uh, two sets of 50, so 100 envelopes for two pounds. I thought, why not? I also need envelopes. And here I've got some A4 colored 20 pack for one pound, it's the uh, colored card. Um, I could not find white. I found black, so I couldn't find white. But if I bought the black, I would have had to figure out a way to do gold foiling or silver foiling or something. I'm not sure how to do that. Anyway, but um, I'm gonna see if I can make some of my drawings into bookmarks or something. And next up, we have a Crawford and Black watercolor pad, 16 shades, 2 pounds. Um, then the uh, next are these two. These are for the bookmarks, I think. I figured it'd be pretty cool. They are silver and gold glittery feathers. I'm guessing they're stickers. I think they're stickers. I mean, it says feather embellishments. But anyway. I figured that would be pretty cool to make my bookmarks sparkly and since some of the doodles I have done are for Harry Potter related things, so I thought why not? So this feather just keeps on reminding me of levitation charm anyway. So here we have 
some bold mirror acrylic paints 12 pack only for six pounds so I figured I mean I did try with some of the acrylic paints I did have already but those were actually metallic like paints and they were really I'm not sure how to say liquidy or something or other I did after the first time I did shake it to make sure but I wanted to actual paints and those paints were like over probably over almost 10 years old so I got these new ones so hopefully I can make something good and that's why I got the water watercolor pad for the acrylic paints because the canvas pa um, canvas pads they sold there were only for like eight sheets for like three pounds or something and I prefer quantity in that type of instance. I don't really, I did look it up and it did say that you can use acrylic paint on watercolor paper. So I thought, let's give you a go. So lastly, no not lastly, next I went to this place. I've never been in there before. But I thought I thought, why not? And because they're just, you know, they so this is Nata & Co. Um, let's see. It's deliciously Portuguese. Did you know? I think it's that so. Pasties de Nata. Um, were created before the 18th century by Catholic monks at the Geronimo's Monastery in Lisbon. That's interesting. These are egg custard tarts. I've had them in ages and I had one uh, Portuguese custard tart once before and it was fantastic so I thought I need me some of them. And it was a uh, buy six and get 10% off. And I think each of them was like one something, one pound something. Well, it, w it was on the expensive side for some each and since, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I couldn't resist. So lastly, we went to HMV. We did go to some other places too, but um, I didn't buy anything. So, these are the only places I've been to. I'm pretty sure I think I only took pictures of places that I bought from. In the little slideshow thing uh, that you, I think you see, saw before this clip. So, <clears throat> I got this. How to Train Dragon the Hidden World. Um, this is number, number three, right? That's number three, isn't it? I don't know. Well, this is where he meets his lady friend, right here, right? As you know, I haven't watched it yet, so... Yes, and this was part of the two for 20, so... What else I got? Who is this one? The Incredibles 2. Since I have the first one. Oh, yeah, it's the first one. And look, it's got the short film bow in it. And that... Funko Pop of that little dumpling sold out, like, we can split, like, you know? Yes, it's a $12.99 each, or 20 for two. Stickered stock on yes. So, and it is so annoying that they don't put this cardboard sleeve in plastic itself, and they stick the sticker on that, which is really annoying, because I like to take my stickers off these things, like, you know, for this one. It's got the sticker on the plastic. But no. Anyway, this next thing, which is, has a sticker on the cardboard again, is the awesome, and it was half off for $6.99, Fantastic Beats, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And obviously I bought it because I haven't seen it yet, and I have the first one. So, it should be great. 
can't wait. And Depp is Grindelwald there. I've got a young, young Dumbledore and Newt with Pickett. And then there's a cute little fun lock. Alright, so I can't wait to watch that. So that is everything, I believe. Um, yes. So, I think next Saturday my sister's going to take me as well. Um, yeah. So that, that's my loot. A haul, or, um, yes, my haul of today's outing. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Go for it out.